Howdy, this is Robert Daly Woodworks, and today I'm going to show you how we make barn doors here in our shop for customers. So I've got my work order right here, and we are going to build uh, three total barn doors, but two the exact same size, and those are the two that I'm going to show you uh, how to make. So our dimensions for the barn door are 98 inches tall, 50 inches wide, and they'll end up being a one and a half inches thick. So the first thing we do here is draw it out on our whiteboard. So we've got 98 and 50. My marker is about dead, so I don't know how well it's going to show up. 98 by 50. We are doing a uh, framed panel style door. Now, the issue that I have with this is the boards I have in stock are only 96 inches long. So I can't do a full vertical piece. I'm gonna have to have a bottom section on my frame and a top section on my frame and then follow that around with my border. Then I'm gonna have a center section and then two middle sections. That's going to be my door. My boards for this face frame are going to be five inches wide. So five inches wide. So then I can just subtract 10 from 98 and get 88. I can subtract 10 from 50 and have 40 going across the front. Then we're just going to use tongue and groove uh, white pine boards for the back and attach them together and thus uh, you have a barn door. They're quite simple to make. Um, in an older video that's a lot lower quality, if you can believe that by watching this video, um, I show you how to do the angles on barn doors on just a small little baby gate barn door that we made. Um, I will link to that in the description so you can go back to it. But this is kind of our process on how to build a barn door. That way we can standardize it in our shop. And that way if uh, I have a question about it in the future or uh, my partner has a question about it in the future or whoever's in the shop working in the shop future, I can just say, you can watch this video, and this is how we make our barn doors in the Daily Woodwork shop. So we've got a barn door, it's going to be 98 by 50 with 5 inch rails and styles, okay? Uh, rails go horizontal, that's hand rail, styles go vertically, so two styles, and one, two, three, four, five rails, three that are going to be in 40 inches long, and three that are going to be 50 inches long. So let's set up the table saw and we will show you how we prep our 1x12 rough lumber to cut down um, to these 5 foot boards using our joiner sled. So this is our joiner sled. It's basically, it's a sheet of plywood that has micro jig uh, dovetail clamp grooves routed in it. You take your rough your board, sit it on the edge, overhang it as little as possible but as much as necessary to make sure you cut off an entire edge and then we just clamp it down on this board. There we go and then you set up your fence to, uh, it used to be 13 inches but that thing kind of gets nibbled away over time now about 12 and 7 eighths. Set up your fence, raise your blade to the appropriate height, lock it down, turn on dust collection and the saw and run it through. And you can see I have a nice little off cut here. Um, of varying thickness, and now I have one nearly perfectly straight edge. Get that done. Set our fence at five inches. Lock it down. Lower the blade down to the appropriate height. Lock it down. Dust collector on and rip. Now I have a five inch wide board that is straight, set it off to the side, 
Okay, now we have all of our boards cut to size, so now we're going to put pocket screws to assemble basically the face frame of this door. Um, you can use dominoes if you want to, but once we assemble this, you'll never see the pocket screws again. They're going to be completely concealed. And with all the glue, nails, everything that goes into a barn door, it is more than sufficiently strong. So find your board, find the ugly side, and go ahead and put three in each uh, rail for the center section, and then we're going to go into the long uh, boards for the other. So I'm going to go ahead and do three in each board. I got a little uh, pro tip for you. If your board is too long to stand up into your jig, instead of fighting the jig, uh, or fighting the board to get to the jig, take your jig and put it on the board. So just find your back side, whatever is the ugly side. Then you just take the whole mechanism and just clamp it on. special process apply glue and then we're gonna use our face frame clamps to hold it flat and then screw this together okay. Just get it even with the outside some good clamping pressure clamp it down make sure it's even ahead and clamp it down again and make sure it's even. So now we're, uh, since this is just a framed panel door, what Devin is doing is just finding the center of our rails. Um, a five inch wide board so half of that is what Devin uh, two and a half um, and we already marked our center line on our board here and then we're just gonna line up center to center attach that and that's gonna be our center point and then we're just gonna do that with the two other sections of just measure this inside to inside over here or wait I can show you right there inside to inside there find the halfway point make our same lines and increase it and that way we have a framed panel door that it looks like that all said and done yep. so you can see right here we got our line that's measuring from both sides splitting that difference to uh, offsetting air right here, two and a half inches lined up with that line. Now we're just gonna uh, clamp it down flat and then screw it together. Okay, so now we're gonna find the center section this way. So we're just gonna measure inside to inside. I've got 41 and a half. Yeah. I know that 20, 20 plus 20 is 40, 21 plus 21 is 42. So I'm less than 42. So I'm just gonna mark 20 and a half. And yes, I know that's not right for this measurement for those of you who want to do fractions in your head, but, you know, bless your heart. Um, and now I'm going to come back, and my measurement that I'm marking is 20 and a half. So I'm going to come back from the other side and mark 20 and a half. So now that I've measured and marked 20 and a half and 20 and a half on the other side, I can easily put my tape here and look, okay, I'm at 20 and a half right here, 21 right there. Well you know, 20 and three quarters is right dead center of that. So I'm gonna mark 20 and three quarters. And now just to be a little extra here is 20 and three quarters measured from the other side. Okay, that's like a 30 seconds difference total just because, you know, it's wood. It's not always exactly perfect. But that's how you find the center of a board. Now it's just the same thing as before. We got our board in there, got it held in place with some face frame clamps. We sold it flat.
Okay, we got the back side all laid out. Um, it's quite simple. So we started here, we came to the middle section, got it centered up, and basically just put a center line and a center line, screwed it in place. And then we measured to find the center here, found the center, screwed it in place, and then found the center. And now we have five or no, four equally placed sections all the way down. Take this look down, you'll see a line that I made on the side. Just gonna get it lined up with that. Got it. It's overhanging slightly, about half an inch or so. Overhang. Yeah. Okay. Good. So now, that's what we want. Now I'm gonna glue it. So this is an addendum to the video that I forgot to mention. So sometimes on a barn door, the way the beadboard lays out on the back, oh, forgive the harsh shadow, I'm outside. Um, basically, whenever you lay it out, it comes where the groove is flush with the outside. So if that happens on your test layout, and then over here, you'll see the tongue is almost perfect. You'll see the tongue right there is right on the edge of the board. Well, not exactly. But if that happens, you need to split that difference where it's you can cut off the edge and get a full, full hunk of wood there on the outside because we don't want this tongue being right here on the outside because that's just tacky looking, okay? Devin just got done sanding this barn door and it's ready to stain now. Or is this the paint one? This is the one we're gonna paint. Um, but this barn door is going to get painted, um, sanded it all to 180, still got to flip and do the back side, but going to be beautiful when it's done. Mm -hmm. 